This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Hill versus Richardson. You all have been together almost two years. You're living together. You have one child together. And I noticed from the court papers there is a 20-year age difference between you two. Is that right? Yes, there is. Okay. I'm not mad at you. That, that can work. <laughs> yeah. But, Ms. Hill, allegations and suspicions of cheating have put a cloud over this relationship and have hurt you deeply. Tell us why you're here. Yes, Your Honor. We're here because I think that Paul Richardson is letting his past come back into our present, and that becomes a problem with our relationship. What do you mean by his past is catching up to your present? Well, uh, Paul used to be a rapper. Uh-huh. So, so with him being a rapper, there comes with groupies and women that just he dealt with numerous of times, and they're seeing like they just won't let him go. And I've had oh, a few yeah. females. Oh, I see. Yes. Is that what it looked like in the past, Mr. Richardson? Right. You know what? But Miss Hill, you think that's how he's still living? I don't think that exactly is how he's still living. <laughs> but I want to say, like, they're more like on the phone or text messages and inboxing. So it's more like he's still lingering, or they probably still lingering on, but someone is lingering on somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Richardson. Your Honor. Are your player days behind you? Look, that, let, me, let me break it down. Break it down. So there's a 19, 20 year age difference. She's a young tenderoni. No. I'm a, <laughs> you know, a seasoned, retired player. Yeah. You know, so. But, a but that's over with. Retired player. That's right. over with. That's over with. A lot of the things that she's worried about is just a, it's her imagination. Based on looking at some of these pictures that have been submitted to the court, you was running that game pretty hard. Yeah, that, that's just mm. being friendly. You know, I'm having a good time. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, Mr. Cutler. I don't ever want you to be that friendly. Right. Right. That right there is that's more than friendly. I mean, a woman's on her knees down in front of you. That's more right, than friendly. Right. So that's friendly to him. That's okay. very friendly. So y'all got extreme... Different type of friendlies. Yeah. Well how, well, well, how friendly can I be? You can't be that Not friendly, that friendly. At all. Because he's got dollar bills in his hand. Ain't no dollar mean... bills in your hand. None of that. <laughs> I'm looking at that. That picture makes my back hurt. Right. <laughs> well, it'll be all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay, how did you end up with a man who's almost twice your age? How did this happen? Okay, so... <laughs> a guy friend and I, you know, we was, um... hustling up some movies, you know? So I'm in a store and stuff, you know, and I see a guy over here, they playing, he playing the game. So he just looking back, eyes just wide open. <laughs> you know, so I was like, dang, can I have my face back? <laughs> you oh. said that? Yeah. Dang, can I have my face Let back? Let me write that right. one down, too. Dang, can I have my face back? Because he was staring so hard, he had stolen it. Yeah, yes, like he stole my face, like, ooh. Mm. <laughs> Did yeah. you steal her face, man? Well, you know, uh, that's how I got her. I looked in her eyes. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. look down. That's a player move right yeah, there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you meet him, you all, he steals your face, and you get together. What was the first sign of trouble? Well, the first sign of trouble is when um, he was trying to impress me. So I saw that we had a mutual friend, and I was like, okay, I know you knew this person. And he was like, yeah, you know, I know this person. Uh, if you know this person, then you know you should call them and let them know you talk to me, and they'll tell you about me. So, so this was, so he was getting verification. He was gonna... like a reference. A reference. Yeah, like a, reference. Yeah. a love reference. Yeah, yeah. like a okay. love. Okay, I heard, I a heard of it. I've heard of job references. Yeah, but it's a love. This is a love reference. A love reference. Right. All right. So, so how did that work out for you? So once I called the girl and I talked to her, I was like, "Girl, I ain't know you. Um, no, Paul." She was like, "Paul, oh, Paul, me and Paul been bleep 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 off and on for thirteen years." I said, well, you know, that's a solid reference. Oh, very solid. Very, very she don't solid. know better than anybody. Yeah, at least I know he committed in that way, huh? Yeah. Was this the best reference you well, could come up I with? Well, I did not know she was going to go off into that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... She just had some feelings for me that she hadn't let go, so, you know, she just decided to spill the beans... You know, so to speak. So you weren't but, trying to get a sex No, no, it, it wasn't nothing like that, man. I mean, it, it just, it sounds bad, but my intentions were not for that to happen. Okay, so that was your warning sign, which was a good-sized warning sign. Why do you think he's cheating now? Well, because 
Paul had ended up um, buying us some new phones. So I'm thinking that this is my phone ringing. So once I picked up, a girl asked me, uh, can I speak to Paul? So okay, I'm... a woman called you on your phone and asked to speak to him? See, the crazy part about it is because he, it, the phones were switched. Oh! So, right, once me and Paul got together after the phone call, I asked him who was this person that called your phone. Okay. Right, and he told me that, well, this is such and such about the hair. Because I wanted to, you know, start my own hairline business. So, Mr. Richardson, who was this woman? It was an old, you know... You, old you told lady. her it was a hair woman. Yeah, but I did tell her it was a hair woman. I just okay. was trying to hold down. They had the same name. I said, oh, that's the girl about the hair. That's the girl about the hair. Yeah, so, so I lied. That's a uh, Ace Ventura detective. <laughs> so she dug and dug and dug. And, Miss Hill, it didn't blow over, did it? No. You didn't let it go. And what did you find? Well, I actually found um, a picture that she sent him um, to his phone. And once I called her again and asked her, why is you sending pictures to his phone? He don't want no picture of you. <laughs> but she clarified and told me that he the one told her to send the picture. Yeah. And supposedly, once me and her talked, she told me that he had been over to her house that Saturday. Did you go visit her? Yeah, but it wasn't nothing like that. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, hey, I know it sounds bad, yeah. but, but, but serious. It me does and this sound girl, bad. you know, we had been knowing each other. And when we decided to, you know, cut it off, it really wasn't a relationship. We had a little fling, but we remained friends. So, yeah, I stopped by there and saw her, spoke to her. There was nothing like that. You with believe her. that when he went over, he cheated with her? Yes, and actually, um, the day she told me, I kind of figured something was wrong because he kind of came back into the house and then he rushed out, but then his breath kind of smelled a little twangy. So I was like, you know, so when she told me about that, I didn't know what went on. And when you say... Hey, oh, yeah, oh, no, go ahead. When, I don't when even you say twangy, um... <laughs> I'm gonna cover my ears up for can, this part Can you be color. a little more descriptive like but some respectful? Booty, some booty. Okay, well... Oh, there well, it. there it is. Have you found anything else that makes you think he's cheating? Because of the things I have saw, I just don't trust him. I don't believe anything he's saying. Stuff like that. So I went into his phone and I see um, inbox messages off of Facebook and I kind of made a little cute post. So... You submitted that message to the court in your, in your court papers, is that I correct? I sure did. So you go on his Facebook and you, you post, <laughs> they hacking, and it says, dang, I ain't know females was this thirsty. Y'all worse than men, but you better grab a glass of water because he mine. A lot of y'all about to be blocked and unfriended. So that's your announcement to all them feeds you looking at, like, back up, you out. Right. Okay. So what happened? Okay, well, I'm not the only woman that does that, okay? Yeah, oh, no. No, no. So... It's a thing. Bay hack is a thing. Right. So once I did that, let me tell you, about 20 females got upset and wanted to come in to my checker man and all this. When he's in the home with me, I check him at home. I don't have to check him on Facebook like all the other women. And you submitted some of those messages as well. I did. You need to check your man. Oh! Then you, you don't know what he'd do. That's another woman. Mr. Richardson. Yes. Hey, you said no. you retired from the game. You know, you got people out there who don't want to see you happy. So this was like one of those things where a female was saying, OK, we got her. You know, we got her against the wall. We're going to go ahead and hammer her. So they were just saying all kind of stuff. When you get these, these responses from all these women saying, check your man, you don't know what he's doing, blah, 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 to, in response to your bay hacking, what happens next? Well, what happened next is one female was a little salty than others. Oh, let me... I have um, evidence right here. Okay. You do? okay. Ryan, would you get that, yes, please? Sir. Yeah, enough said. You what is this evidence we're getting ready to see, ma'am? Well, with that evidence is that she got so salty and felt some type of way because I told her she sound like um, someone he had in hurt feelings back in the day. Uh huh. So with, I said that, honey, she just went and showed me screenshots that he was in her inbox. So Mr. Richardson said to her, wanted to say hi, miss you like crazy. Can I get you to dominate me? I'm talking the whole nine yards. Whips, chains, cuffs, you name it. I think I want to be punished, slapped, choked, 
and just treat it like a real sex slave. Mm. You can bring help if you like. I'm feeling real seductive and need to be tamed. Oh. Wow. And she says, but you, you're in a relationship. And he responded, everything is not what it seems. Oh, Mr. Ms. Richardson, Mr. Richardson. I, I can't even look at you, man. <laughs> not with all hey. that out there. Um, what? I'm guilty. I did that. Well, yeah, we that, know but, that. But let me, let me explain. Oh, OK. This was somebody who, you know, we had a very... Vibrant? Know, our, our relationship was, you know, strictly sexually. And I was really just kind of, you know, flirting real hard, you know, kind of reminiscing. I'm a Libra, Your Honor. I'm very seductive and sensual type of person. So, and look, I don't... I, but I couldn't okay, get but that, Your Honor. When you say, can I get okay, you to wait, dominate wait. me... Then that's exactly what I was going to say. What? Has he ever asked you to whip him and right, choke he him? he never asked me to do that. And if he wanted that done, I would have did it. <laughs> Go on, Ms. Hill. Keep it spicy. <laughs> Got to give the people what they want, is right. Mr. Keller say. Right, <laughs> right. All righty, Mr. Keller, I think... I think we got enough. I think we got... <laughs> I think we have a very crystal clear picture of what's going on here. All right. You, Ms. Hill, believe that Mr. Richardson has gone back to his old rapper groupie days. Mm -hmm. You've got evidence of him messaging with an ex and evidence of liaisons with other women. You say another woman posted a sexy, salacious message from him on social media when you did your bay hacking. So there it is, Mr. Cullen. That's what we got. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. This court has done a full and complete investigation. Mm. At this time, the court will call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please restore the man. Mr. Eccles. Mr. Eccles. Mr. Eccles. Thanks for being here. Tell us what you did to investigate this matter. I sat in the room with a hidden camera with Mr. Richardson, and I went undercover posing as a cheater who has been brought to court himself. I think he recognizes My, I you. I think so, too, Your Honor. <laughs> My goal was to find out if Mr. Richardson had been unfaithful. Mr. Eccles, tell us about your interaction with Mr. Richardson. Well, Your Honors, he spoke to me freely which gave me the ability to find out that he lied to his girlfriend of his whereabouts the night before. He confessed, and I brought that tape with me. I went to a uh, strip club. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's some good ones yeah, up in there. Yeah, that's some real good ones. Yeah. Now, you get you the right one, you get... <laughs> you get yeah. dusted. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, she know you went to... No. Nah. Nah. So, so why did you lie about going to the strip club? You, she just didn't ask. You know, I, I didn't volunteer the information. I, we were at, uh, you know, we... I went, you know, to the strip club. Hey, I'm here, you know, hey. But, Your Honor, you see what creates my insecurities? I feel insecure because he don't make me feel secure. I understand. <laughs> and would you... Let me ask you. If he said, hey, babe, I would like to go to this particular strip club, where, what would you have said? OK, let me go, too. Yeah. Okay. You got a girlfriend who likes looking at strippers? You got a girlfriend who will use whips and chains if you just ask? Dude. Oh, you got to do... You got to... You, you got to come home. Mr. Collins. It's all right there waiting for it's you. It's all there. You'd be surprised what can go on in a house. Right, Mr. Collins? <laughs> you got it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're making me blush over here. All as long as you blush it about me, it's all good. Right. All good. All good. Did Mr. Richardson say anything else about his relationship with Ms. Hill that caused you any concern? Well, during one exchange, he did make it clear to me that having another woman as a backup was extremely important. Mm. All right, let's oh, take a boy. listen. Well, everybody got one on the side that they can yeah. always fall back on. If you really wanted to, you want to just... Yeah. 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 That's the same thing on female. Yeah. I'm sure you got somebody if you just oh, really yeah. want to, you can fall yeah. back. Yeah, everybody got a fall back. You got a fall, fall back? back? No, I don't have a fall back. You know, my gentleman right here said he had a fall back. <laughs> I was just agreeing with him. Well, I need me like a that. fall back. So, to further investigate this case, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt into the courtroom. Ron, would you escort him in? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're about to find out if you got a fall back. How are you, Mr. Platt? Good afternoon, Your Honors. It's good to see you. So, Mr. Platt, you did a polygraph examination of Mr. Richardson. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Richardson was asked, during your relationship with Ms. Hill, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman other than Ms. Hill? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that he was telling the truth. Okay. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Retire. You retire. Retire. Okay. I'm so glad that mm -hmm. you were telling the truth and you have actually hung up your player shoes. Yes, I have. All right. I would say you need to value this queen you got standing right here. Will do. Will do. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a great, happy, healthy relationship. Quarters adjourned.